Hello, fairy friends, and welcome to Storytime. I'm Flyleaf the Book Fairy, and I'm positively glittered that you're here with me today. Now, <clears throat> today's story is a book about trolls. And, and, and not the kind with the sparkly pink hair and the little jewels in their belly buttons. <clears throat> I mean, trolls. So, some of you may find this story a little bit scary. And guess what? That's okay. You don't have to listen to it. Now, you can always ask your grown-up to watch it first and find out what they think, or <clears throat> you can go get a, a friend to squeeze that will protect you when you get scared. All right. Are you ready? Let's read Peter and the Troll Baby by Jan Wall, illustrated by Eric Lagvai. <clears throat> Peter and the Troll Baby. Peter and his family were going on a trip ashore. Grandma waved to Peter, baby Susanna, and mother and father. Faloon the dog was tied up below deck. I love Susanna, said Peter, but why can't she stay home with Grandma? She'll spoil our vacation, he grumbled. She's too little. Why, Peter, see how she smiles at you, said Mother. Susanna held his thumb tightly. Don't let the trolls take her, called Grandma. Slowly, the star pulled out. The pier faded away, and the ship slid down the deep fjords between the steep, flinty mountains. In the pale night, the ship seemed to shimmer. Then, at sunrise, the mountains hovered mysterious gray and frosted pink. The trip north was over. The family stayed in a yellowwood cottage. The first morning, as breakfast cooked, Peter cried, Hey! Somebody looked in our window! But Mother found only broken flowers. It's the cow, son, she said, laughing. Faloon barked at odd footprints near the bushes. Later, while Mother rode the horse Sigurd, Peter had to mind Susanna. Ugh! He snorted. He lay on the grass beside his sister and watched Father paint. Are there really trolls around here? Peter asked. I think I just saw one scooting away. Father shook his head. That's only a story, son. It's said they're made of twigs and moss. They have long tails and lumpy toes. Peter sighed. <sighs> I'm tired of watching Susanna. I wish a big troll would snatch her. Be glad we have her, father said. In the deep of night in the dark room, he shared with Susanna. Peter heard something. He thought he saw bright red eyes blinking at him. He got under his blanket, slowly counting to 99. Faloon whimpered. <laughs> Soon, all grew silent. At daybreak, the baby bawled, screeched, kicked. Peter got up to comfort her. <gasps> That's not my sister! He gasped and ran to fetch his parents. Side by side, they stood and gazed at the red-faced thing. Father said, she's probably teething. Mother said, of course it's Susanna. She has a tummy ache. She picked her up. She is heavy. This is my fault, mumbled Peter. I never should have wished it. Trolls can't help stealing, can they? They are famous for it, said Father. All that day, the troll baby bellowed. Peter scrambled onto Sigurd. Where are you going? shouted Mother. To save my true sister. Come, Faloon. And off Peter flew on Sigurd, galloping away to the forest. After a time, the sun began to sink. The shadows lay long. Owls hooted. Toads croaked. Peter stopped once to pick some berries. At last, they came to a clear stream. On the other side, a gray troll squatted. Gray fishing. Slow-witted trolls trudged back and forth, pulling stolen cows, sheep, and goats. Peter tied Sigurd to a stump. Quiet, Faloon. Stay. 
he crawled near and hid by a log. On the far bank, a troll mother sat with her hairy tail lolling in the water. She sang lullaby, lullaby, hush, hush. In her huge hands, she held a pale baby. <gasps> Susanna! How will I ever get her away? groaned Peter. You see the trolls by the water? Suddenly, Troll Mother tossed Susanna high up in the air like a rag doll. With a gap-toothed grin, another troll caught her and threw her back. Susanna laughed gaily. Although it was summer, each cottage wore a thick snow on the roof. Cooing, Troll Mother took Susanna into one of the houses. Some of the trolls shuffled off to bed. Others slept outside, guarding livestock and chests of gold. Gingerly, Peter crossed the stream and grabbed a fat thorny stick. Quietly, he crept forward. As soon as Troll Mother was snoring, Peter pushed her window ajar. Susanna lay sleeping in a trough of soft straw. Peter hooked a long thorn into her gown, lifting her up and out through the window. She was still asleep. Oh, he stepped on the tail! All at once, the trolls awoke with a growl. Their giant eyes flashed a lightning. Slowly, the awful trolls began to stir as Peter skipped back, back across the stream on the small, wet stones. Catch him! Came a roar like thunder. It is the end of us, thought Peter, jumping into Sigurd. Hurry, Falloon! It did no good to yell. The angry trolls hopped behind Sigurd, who galloped for dear life now. Faster, Sigurd! Pine needles scratched. The ground shook white and huge. The moon rose ahead. Susanna was small, and she felt so warm in Peter's arms. The trolls rumbled closer. As if by magic, Peter reached home first. The door was unlocked. Father and mother had waited up for they could not sleep with Peter away. Look, Peter yelled, I've got my true sister. Quickly, he set the red-faced troll baby out on the steps. It was so surprised it forgot to scream. Grunting and puffing, the trolls thumped up. There she is, they bawled. Troll mother grabbed her own child, thinking she had Susanna, and away the trolls hopped in triumph. At last, Peter climbed into bed. Father smiled. Son, you are brave. How, how could I make such a mistake? Asked mother. Of course, this is Susanna. Each hugged Susanna in turn. Balloon danced. But always afterward, whenever his sister lay howling, kicking, tomato-faced, Peter wondered if she were Susanna or the troll baby. The end. I hope that wasn't too scary and I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did when I was a wee little pixie. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for listening to my stories. Bye fairy friends!